Hello guys, this is Nostradante. Welcome to my world. And here we have a very overzealous, hungry, and quite annoying king snake named Xemnas, who thinks my middle finger is food. Now, this really doesn't hurt too much. It's more surprising than anything. Uh, it hurts a little bit because his teeth are like needles, and he's trying desperately to um, swallow my finger here. And he hasn't caught on to the fact that he'll never swallow this finger. So, how do you alleviate a problem like this? Well, there's two ways to do it. One, which I'm about to do now. It's about to put some water in here. He's actually about to let go, probably. Uh, I'm going to fill this sink up with water, put him in there. He's got to breathe sometime, and he's going to let go. Or two, preferably Listerine. If he doesn't let go after like about a minute or so in water... Uh, you put a little bit of mouthwash or Listerine in here. I learned this from Snake Bites, which is a very reputable reptile channel, so I'm taking advice from them. And I can feel the little needles. Oh, he moved over a bit. Ah, now he's getting my nail part. That part hurts. Um, you just put a little bit of this near their mouth, not too much. It won't hurt them. It won't kill them. You know, just don't oversaturate, overdo it. So, I'm going to pour some water here right now. And right now... What snakes usually like to do is he's trying to find a nice sweet spot where he can just stick this whole thing in his mouth. He kind of, he usually doesn't do too much damage. Just a little bit of blood on my finger. Nothing too bad. Make sure this water's not hot. Give me a second. There we go. Now, let's see what he does. Oh, look at that. He's, yeah, he's reacting. And look, he's off. <laughs> now, if this didn't work, come on, Xemnas. He's probably going to bite me again, or maybe he just realizes that, okay, I can't do this anymore. The water is kind of warm, so the, the sudden temperature just kind of shocked. It's not, the water's not hot. If he bites again, I'll just put him back in the water. But in case he doesn't let go, you just put a little, like a little bit of Listerine. Actual Listerine. I think Listerine's stronger than this stuff. And as far as fumes, and um, because it reacts with the bacteria in their mouth, and you know, it kind of burns with us. So, you see, now he's kind of upset, he's like, Oh, I want to eat, and that's it. I mean, right now, he's just he's just like, Okay, what's going on? Let me show you how my finger looks like a little bit bloody, a little bit because their teeth are like little tiny needles, kind of hard to see, not much damage. You know, you just wash it off like you would any other cut or bruise. Just, you know, take some antiseptic, you know, some peroxide, uh, whatever you can handle. And that's about it. I'm about to put him back in his tank now that he has hopefully learned his lesson. Good boy. And some of you guys are probably really creeped out by this. I'm not. I just find it annoying because they don't like to let go. But, yeah, that's one way of getting an overzealous, hungry king snake, which they are known to be quite uh, responsive as far as feeding goes. And I'm not even feeding him, it's just that I don't handle him a lot, so he associates me opening up his tank with feeding, because I have like four reptiles, including a bearded dragon. And I definitely don't want the bearded dragon to pick up these habits, because he's got stronger jaws than the snake does. So I kind of handle him a bit more. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or even have better advice maybe you know uh let me know in the comment section okay this is nasha dante signing the frig off say bye xemnas he's a little angry at me right now say bye